Tussie, where we talk about anything and everything that could ever amount to anything or everything to anybody and everybody who ever intends to amount to something. The Gary Tussie effect in the earth. I got a record 6.5 hours of sleep uninterrupted, and I'm bouncing off the walls this morning, baby. So easy to use, it barely felt like you were doing anything wrong. They all seemed like uh, perfectly acceptable methods. The Gary Tussie effect in the earth. I got a record 6.5 hours of sleep uninterrupted, and I'm bouncing off the walls this morning, baby. The Gary Tussie effect in the earth. So easy to use, it barely felt like you were doing anything. They all seemed like uh, perfectly acceptable methods. The Gary Tussie effect in the earth. Genius loves company. Good morning and welcome to the greatest morning show ever produced in human history. I'm your host, Real Gary Tussie. I have my writer by my side, the lovely and talented Pet. Where is she? Hello. Uh, the lovely and talented <laughs> effervescent sitting like a princess perched in her electric chair, Miss Julie Tussie. And is it on fire today? Is it on the fire electric today? Chair. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. loving it. I yeah. wish it was like, I wish that my chair was the kind of chair, and I don't think you've experienced this, so you need to go. Every man needs to go at least once to get a pedicure and it, the whole back, and it's very tall, and it rolls all the way from the, your head down your back, and then it'll beat, 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 beat you, and it's got heat, and it massages you for a half hour. Wow. That's the electric chair that I want, and they're only probably, you know, a few thousand dollars. Yeah, I'm sure that's all. Yeah, After that's all. After we've uh, crunched the budget to buy a stationary bike, I'm <laughs> sure we can just squeeze <laughs> that in. Let's just get one of those, too, and I'll we'll just put it in here. And when we're not podcasting, I'll fill it with water and soapy bubbles, and you can do my pedicures for me. How would you like that? What we need to do is harness (laughs) producing electricity while you're on the uh, stationary bike. I know. That's what I was thinking. Who did I tell? I I told our grandson, J.D., I said, if you if you want to move in here, you can just ride the bike to pay for your rent. And we'll just make it make solar power or yeah, electricity yeah. or something. <laughs> so she got the best of the best. She got the type that it's a soul, isn't it? Yeah, it's a soul recumbent bike, mm-hmm. and it has magnetic uh, pedaling. So uh, I I hurt my knee, and I've been in therapy for it. And I rode one there at the therapy place. And it's so easy on your joints. And I don't know, Gary, if you remember, but I had an exercise bike for many years, and I was always thinner because mm-hmm. I love them. Mm-hmm. I get on them, and I can watch TV, and I can I just, I forget I'm exercising because I'm not a super big exercise fan. Right. right. It's, so it's not a chore; it's a pleasure. It's a professional system. It's the type you see in all of the. Um all of the mm-hmm. gyms, but Julie got a spectacular price on yes, it. Yes, so. I did. We were so excited. And guess who's riding the bike all the time now? Who? You. Yeah. <laughs> I love Get it. my cardio it's, up. It's awesome, and it has a fan in it, and we can hook our Bluetooth into it, and there's all kinds of stuff on it. But I just ignore that. I just push start, watch the timer, and my distance. Right. So I get it. So it's getting, it's approaching Christmas time, and it's Christmas time, pretty baby, and the snow is falling <laughs> on the ground. You'd be a real good little girl now because Santa Claus is back in town. And I love Santa Claus. So uh, people have a little bit of a challenge getting in the uh, what is classically known as the Christmas spirit. Mm-hmm. And the other thing is, there's another flip side of that, and that, or a, a deeper side of that, and that is that people really get depressed around the holidays. I know. I actually um, have a podcast coming out on the Julie Tussie Show Monday, and it's called Overcoming the Christmas Blues. And there are several things that you can do mm-hmm. to not to to kind of shake the blues off. Mm-hmm. Of course, if you need medicine, definitely take your medicine, but. Um, You'll have to go and check that out, but I think one of the main ones is def like pray. 
pray and get you know get a, a a word something you can stand on and then get enough sleep get some exercise and one of the really cool things that i suggested is to do go on an encouragement campaign you know we're all isolated and so you can go on other people's social media that's what i was going to mention don't isolate <clears throat> that's so easy yeah. to do interact call people uh, facetime people go comment something kind on their page do some old school mailing you know mail a card um just get back in the flow of people yep and you know you can uh there's a lot of new christmas music they could enjoy really yeah not just uh not just the traditional i mean some people are opposed our son is opposed to traditional christmas music (laughs) isn't he but he loves bb king christmas did you know there's a whole there's an entire cd of bb king singing christmas music yeah i love it and there's an entire CD of Joe Bonamosa yeah, uh, and doing Christmas music. I love music. Michael Buble. Michael Buble has he's, an entire. He's like a throwback mm-hmm. to the Rat Pack. And Actually, he's real, very enjoyable one of my to favorite. listen to. So around the holidays, put these things on so you can hear them. Oh, and of course, get our CD. Good morning, Jim. Right? Jim's weighing in from morning, all the way Jim. from Michigan. Happy it's freezing there, you Jim. You you should be here where it was. It's sixty. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, but so our Christmas CD is really unique too because we we have our own style and flavor. And uh, wow, it turned out for our first time out. You remember, how you were like, I can't believe that I played that uh, in certain parts of it because it just was like God was just on it. It was really cool. On what now? On our Merry Christmas CD. Oh yeah, okay. I had a I, I was thinking, You're thinking uh, about Jim. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking about <laughs> later on in the program and everything. Yeah, but we did the uh, yeah, that's right. Royce is reminding us Porky Pig sings Blue Christmas. Well, I know. I don't know how I live without that. I don't how know. I haven't even I heard that yet. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. Don't ever. Don't I love ever. that song. That's an earworm. <laughs> I hate that song. Now you get to have it all day. <laughs> oh, I hate that song. You hate that song. Mm-hmm. It's so cute. It's not. And neither, I don't I like d- the Grinch song. I can tell you the Christmas songs I don't like. That one, what would you say it was? I want a hippopotamus. I want a hippopotamus for Christmas. I don't like, um, oh, all I want for Christmas is my two front teeth. I, can't I haven't heard that, that one, one in years. Thanks for yeah, the reminder. Thank you for reminding you. And the other one, I saw Mama kissing Santa Claus. Believe it or not, I don't like Rudolph the Red Nose. I don't like the little kitty ones. Wow. I don't like that one. I don't like Jingle Bells. And I've had to lead them for years, you know, in church and stuff. And, exactly. Uh, I'm just like, oh. Susan True is weighing in. She's, Hi, Susan. Yeah, she's been a uh, real, um, on her heart in prayer because of her husband. She so. got a great report yesterday. Did she? Since I, she's doing it all on Facebook, we'll, we will say that he was um, he got COVID and he's been hospitalized and on a vent and it was very, very bad. And we've all been praying and standing and Jesus is moving. They thought he would be minimum on a ventilator and in a coma state for three weeks. It's been two, two weeks or maybe a little less. He is off the ventilator. He is holding his own. He is breathing on his own. Oh, so he's we, breathing yes, on his own? He, well, he's got something called a CPAP or a PAP, something, just a small... I don't even know what that is. I need to investigate it, but I do know they got him off the ventilator, and that is a huge step in the recovery from this. Let's so, uh, let's pray for him right now. Amen. And while everybody's watching and we're live here, we can all agree together. There's a lot of power in that. Heavenly Father, yes. we thank you for the uh, continued uh, you, health that you're bringing back to Kenneth. And that in yes. the name of Jesus, his recovery now will be speedy, and he'll have no um, after uh, afterward complications or symptoms. In the name of Jesus, we believe this, and we receive it when we pray. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. And Lord, we ask you to bless his family and provide for them. She while said Kenneth the 12th day, and, and he came off. I tell you, Susan, I I never wrote to you and said anything, but when I saw your first post about him being in there, I started 
just crying. I even, Gary was even surprised because I don't cry super, super easy. And I just started crying. I had such a burden. And we had, we met them one time, but we just fell in love with them. And I was like, there is no way. So I've kind of had this burden like it's my own brother and sister fighting this fight. Mm-hmm. And so I'm like, I'm on this with you, sister. Yeah, they're in, the, they're in the ministry, too. Yes, so, they're ministers uh, yeah. of the gospel, and he's such a precious man, mm-hmm. and she, and her, too. Their whole family is just awesome. Yeah, so, absolutely. We're so glad Jesus is moving for him. So I guess the last thing in the world Susan's <coughs> thought about is Christmas and getting ready for Christmas. So uh, I don't know. They do have a GoFundMe, Susan. Why don't you post that in the comments here? And um, we'll do our best to share it because, you know, when you lose your husband's uh, income at Christmas time, you know, or maybe we can oh, find yeah. a way to take donations for them uh, or, or whatever yeah, we've Susan, donated. So send, a, uh, send a link in the comments, if you will, to your GoFundMe page. Yeah. And let's see if we can get some support here uh, for uh, And we'll, for we'll and go Kenneth. shopping for you. I will. I could be a professional shopper. So if you yeah. need help, please yeah. reach out and let us know. Yeah. We love her. They've got two beautiful children, yeah. and we're keeping them all in prayer and <clears throat> believing that uh, great things are in store for them. Yes. So, um, yeah. So we've Ooh, got a great family good. here. We call them the Facebook Posse. We've got a great family here who yeah. uh, stick with us through thick and thin and uh, let the word out. Oh, uh, like and share, like and share, like, like and, and share. share. <laughs> like and share. We don't mention that mm-hmm. enough. Like and share her. I'm going to have to write a song. I was writing songs yesterday, and mm-hmm. I didn't even think to find a drum beat for Like and Share, but we're going to have to do it and somehow find a way to just play it. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> I can do all kinds of stuff like that. Like and Share. I mm-hmm. can put commercials in this thing. I can put sound bites in this thing. i am just been too lazy to do it, maybe. Not too lazy, just so busy. It's just been a crazy time. Yeah, and besides that, everybody likes to hear us <clears throat> chitter-chatter. Uh, they love, I think they love my impromptu songs. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what they live that's for. That's why they're watching today. Yeah, like and share. What's she going to sing mm-mm, today? Like and share. What's, what's this crazy woman going to come up yeah, with next? What's she going <laughs> to what's she gonna sing today? She'll sing the phone book if you leave, if you leave it. That's the only book in the room. She'll sing the phone book. So. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> You're listening to the greatest morning show ever produced in human history. I'm your host, Real Gary Tussie, with my rider by my side, the lovely and talented effervescent sitting like a princess perched in her electric chair. <laughs> you Julia are really, Tussie. your hair is really real today. Yeah, I'll my hair that. looks awesome on TV. Oh, my Lord. It does. It does not. The women all comment, and they're like... Nobody commented. Yes, they have. In the past, the women are like, what happened to your hair? Is Gary okay? I, but you love that Lyle Lovett look where it can I be five say, feet ha- tall and frizzy and curly. I don't like that. I love it when you slick it. We have a hard part, you know. Uh, I don't dis. I don't hate it or anything. But I just you're so handsome and have well, such great hair. Maybe some people hair. weigh in and support me in my hair. Okay, style so today, if you want so. Gary to style his hair for the show, we want to see a number one in the comments. And if you want him to wear it crazy, we want to see crazy a number man, two. Crazy. Not that. Not that this is going to make any difference. Cause crazy man. I'm the one that has to look at it all. Day. <laughs> Right. <laughs> so Kenneth has been. Today's the twelfth of December, and Kenneth has been fighting uh, COVID for twelve days. And Susan writes this: the number twelve in the Bible means authority and perfection. And that's the day he came off the ventilator this morning at four forty a.m. They FaceTimed uh, me. She says, and. Uh, he blew me kisses. Aww. So we're on the right Aww. path here. That's yeah. got to be heartbreaking because she can't even go in and be with him. She can't oh, I see know. him. Well, it's when just, I had the heart attack and was in for several days, I know it was very hard. Could come in. It was yeah. very, very hard. So we're our heart is with you, sis, and our prayers. He's going to be completely whole in Jesus' name. Yep, we receive it. We receive it. <clears throat> Ha <laughs> ha. 
Thank you. Just uh, tell him to be himself. Be real. That's why my hair's like Does this today. Does that mean no Randy. deodorant too? Then <laughs> no, that's not. That's not me. <laughs> that's not. You would no, know that. We don't that want it too case. real yeah. in here. <laughs> you would know that if that were the case. Yeah. Yeah. So Randy, it's good to see you way in here this morning. So we're overcoming the Christmas blues, yeah. and we're talking about putting some new, fresh Christmas music on. One way you can do that is to uh, let us get this into your hands, the uh, Merry Christmas by Gary and Julie Tussie, Mm -hmm. and we'd love to get this into your hands. Let me put it a little closer to the screen. So uh, tell them how to do that, honey, because we're we're making these things available, and we're not maybe not being real clear on how to how to do all this. Yes, it's really easy. You can email us at the voice inc twenty three at gmail, and you can get it directly from us. Which, as starving artists, that's the most uh, prosperous way for us to sell it. Or you can get it at Amazon. Yeah, simple. Simple. So some other new music, new Christmas music. In case you didn't know it, B.B. King did an entire CD. I love him. Of Christmas music. And it is fabulous. It's in true, um, it's in true uh, style, in his blue style, B.B. King style. Yeah, he's really, yeah. really changed things up. I like I like it a lot. I've been hearing it a lot. Roy's saying if you got it, flaunt it. You know, that's fun- <laughs> that's funny to me because I've never seen Roy without a hat on. So, What's I, your hair look like today, Roy Dale? I don't know if he's bald or balding. I don't know. Uh, we want to know, Roy, do you have lots of hair and you can you mm-hmm. can go crazy like Gary Tussie does or not? Yeah, I like Oh, good, crazy. the link. So Susan okay. put the link on. All of you who are watching on replay or watching live, please go over there. Even if you can only do $5 or $10, if we all join together, it'll make a big difference. If you can do more, please donate to this family. They are precious, precious people. You can click that link right now and go over there and do yep. that if you like. Or <laughs> will it on the replay, can you still click yep. the link? Yep. So if you might want to wait till we're finished and then click the link. Because we, <laughs> if you want to hear it, we're saying. We would and if lose not, the feed and you go They can over come now. back, though. But yeah, you can do that and come back. So uh, that would be that would be wonderful. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, uh, I'm your host, Real Gary Tussie, and we are just delighted to be helping to bring you out of the Christmas blahs um, and uh, kind of lift you up and make you a little happier. I mean, n- another way to not get into the Christmas blues is uh, don't forget what the season's about. Yes. I mean, put your focus in the right place. I think a lot of people, especially now, may feel, and I talked about this yesterday, they may feel pressure because they don't have their job, their income has changed, and they feel like they can't buy gifts. But it isn't really about that. It's not right. about the commercial side. It's about Jesus. Exactly. It's all about him. Yeah. And an interesting thing is happening this year. The star of Bethlehem is visible. For the first time. For the first time in how many 800 years? 800 years. For the first time in 800 years. So, uh, Isn't that awesome? Yeah, you know what I thought about concerning that? No. The star of Bethlehem was key when he was born. The star of Bethlehem could be key with his return. I know. I thought about that, too. Man, that makes my heart race Thank just you, thinking Jesus. about it. That's wonderful. <laughs> yeah. Well, he said there would be signs and wonders yes. in the heavens above. I mean, that's what we're talking about. Um wonderful so yeah over 800 years jeff is weighing in uh please keep our guitar player wes tobin, wes tobin in, in prayer. prayer he is in i see you is he fighting COVID as well jeff uh let us know that we're going to pray for him right now uh, my roy says uh, that his wife says that he has <laughs> hair but uh, I keep it cut to about half inch long. I see, and it's white. And it's white. Cool. All right. You ought to let that grow to about five inches, and then have a competition with Gary. That's the hairstyle <laughs> of a lot of villains in the movies. Did you know that, <laughs> Roy Dale. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny when they they make vi- villains up and they make them with uh, white hair. Yeah, and they short. shave their yeah. hair. <laughs> that's, my that's leg, amazing. my leg is hitting because I don't think I'm in in here. Can you oh, you're scooch in here over great. a little bit? You're in here great. <laughs> oh, you're yeah. in both shots. Great, 
you don't don't go vain See that? on me. No, that that because I usually am like tucked in here yeah, more, and we still, didn't we didn't even move the chairs today. <laughs> you're way over this way. Now. You're usually hitting that thing. Well, I can so. move and still be in the frame. All right, let's do that. No, cause... wait, no, it'd be less in the frame. This is enough shop talk, people. Okay, you guys, you know what? You may not know this, but we're doing a simulcast right now. So Facebook Live, recording a podcast, and we are on television. Television okay, over so Wes Tobin, he's not dealing with COVID. He's had a few <laughs> strokes and is paralyzed, brain swelling, pneumonia as well. Aww. Let's pray for him right now. Yes, thank you, Heavenly Jesus. Father, Wes Tobin and uh, his difficulties with stroke and, and paral- paralyzation and brain swelling and pneumonia. Oh, Jesus. We call him healed in Jesus' we name. Ask you to touch By the body, stripes Father of God. Jesus, he is healed. The blood of and Jesus we send the word him. of God, the word of God will not return void we believe in uh, Wes's complete restoration complete restoration of health in Jesus name amen amen right Woo! yes I love praying for people while we're on here I know it's uh, cool let us know God is still in the healing business he's still doing miracles he didn't fall off the throne because of COVID no you know, so many of us have been fighting the blues over COVID. And no, 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 no. Jesus is still the Lord and Savior of all, healer of all. He's moving. Yep. So over, I want to tell you more about more about uh, new... Uh, oh, Jeff says thank you, guys. You're God welcome. So we good. love yes, you, Jeff Jenkins. Good. Yeah, it's good to hear from you today. <clears throat> and we're so happy to pray with you on these, on these things. So... And while you're at it, though, should you mention they can call and leave prayer requests? This is a great time. You can even phone in right now. We'll put you right in on the air. We have that technology. Yeah, you can call <laughs> 859-519-0239, whether you're listening on the podcast right now or if you're live with us or hearing the replay anytime, 24-7, this phone is available, 859-519-0239. You can leave a prayer request there. You can request to speak with Gary or myself or both of us. We can call you back and pray with you if you want that, or we'll just pray over your request. It's a great way to reach us. Yeah, we live for that, so. So, uh, mm-hmm. so uh, make that happen. Uh, <clears throat> dial that number whenever you have. Keep us in mind that we're here as your prayer partners and believe we receive when we pray. We Amen. Be- we believe we receive. Did you hear what I said? Yes. We, we believe, believe we, we receive, receive when, when we, we pray. pray. As you should, too. So we'll be encouraging you in that. But I'm talking more about uh, new Christmas music that might help you get out of the Christmas bl- blues. Did you know Can Heat did a Christmas song? Can Heat is who uh, wrote and sang, Going to the country, tell me, don't you want to go? Remember no, I didn't know that because yeah, I yeah. don't listen to them very much. And, th- you know, there's a lot of very fun Christmas blues music. And we I listen to that on Pandora quite a bit. So, But some new artists that uh, may be a little more... Um, uh, mainstream is B.B. King and his uh, his Christmas CD. Joe Bonamosa has an incredible... If you like the blues, you'll you like, like these the guys. Blues, yeah. Yeah. Um, I hear Joe Bonamosa play guitar and I think I need to quit. We had a good talk about that. <laughs> yeah. Because so. you can't compare yourself. Yeah, we all have our own gifts. He, man, that guy is a giant. He is amazing. And then there's Michael Bublé does a I lot of traditional him. music as well as he, he, he covers Mariah Carey's uh, All I Want for Christmas is You. Speaking of, that's one of my most favorite albums is her Merry Christmas her, album. Her Christmas mm-hmm. album is really, really good. So put these things on and uh, let yourself kind of get out of the out of the mully grubs. We used to yeah. call them mully grubs. Do people still call them no. mully grubs? No. <laughs> No, if you're being triggered, <laughs> right, put on some Christmas music. <laughs> Roy says he would call in, but he has no word filter. <laughs> so I can Roy, I understand that. sometimes I have people on my podcast and they they cuss or almost cuss and they're like, oh, can I say that on your podcast? <laughs> so we get it, Roy. Yeah, I heard a preacher say one time, I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't trust a preacher who doesn't cuss occasionally. Uh-huh. I thought that was really interesting. Yeah. 
I was watching one the other day. It had a big old cigar in his hand, which is pretty harmless, but he was preaching the gospel. He's gone he, now. No, this is, is another guy, young one? guy, oh. and he's like, he was, he had a great word. I mean, yeah. he was really, and he was like, he was really cool, you know, tattoos, and he was young. I was, I was like, He's You'd cool. be amazed yeah. some of the people who smoke cigars that are in the ministry. And they're not even really yeah. inhaling smoke, right? Like I it don't just know. I, my I don't understanding know. is you just kind of puff on it. Yeah, I don't know. We could get some cigars for your next show if you want to if you want, Gary. I'll probably I'm choke and fall on the floor. Toba- <laughs> I'm not interested in tobacco products. Me always, either. So. <laughs> but I thought it was pretty uh I love when people break the box and they're wild. I, yeah. I remember a preacher that used to cuss while he was preaching. Do you remember that? Charlie? <laughs> Did Charlie? Yeah. Cuss? yeah. I didn't know another one. No, that that doctor and you watch his wife, he used to cuss way back in the day. He would say cuss words sometimes when he was preaching. Oh, Dr. Scott. Gene Scott. Gene Scott. His teaching is incredible. <laughs> he smoked though. also while he Cigars. Cigarette. Yeah. cigars? Yeah. Oh, I thought only, they were cigarettes. Only cigars. No. I was so young. <laughs> only cigars. But uh, I've got friends in the ministry that smoke cigars, and uh, one of them for a while smoked a pipe. So no judgment here. Understand that. No, this no is judgment a judgment-free zone. Mm-hmm. So Susan wrote and says, Michael Buble and Mariah Carey and Frank Sinatra are her favorite. Susan, we must have Christmas the same music. taste. Yeah, we. Uh, she would probably like our Christmas CD then. Yeah, she probably. We might would. have to get one over to her. Yeah, they would enjoy that. Send Christmas. me your email, Susan, and I'll send you the digital download. Yeah, we can get the digital digital download. We'll do that for mm-hmm. you to help with the situation you're in. Yeah, happy to. We do wrote that. a we wrote a song on there while we were dating called whatever baby wants that's on there that's really yeah cool. that's an original mm-hmm. julie did shimmy on christmas day that's an original and i did an instrumental called prayer for sarah that's an original so. yeah do you know what i put on the end of my podcast for people who are fighting the christmas blues mm-hmm. was a song for julie that instrumental you wrote mm-hmm. when i was dealing with anxiety and depression a little bit and you wrote that song to call me because your favorite phrase to me is just breathe mm-hmm. just breathe julie breathe yeah. <laughs> and that song's really cool you so could put that better in this, with that you should now. put that at the end of this podcast oh my word it put I'll people to sleep no it's for people who are trying to, to overcome the blues really yes no it was just for you special well then why'd we put it on a national record label album <laughs> everybody knows it's just for you special it's just for me special yeah. Yeah. so so every uh every day i have a scripture on my mind when i wake up in the morning oftentimes i post them on facebook and i've got a scripture on my mind today that i'm gonna i'm gonna go ahead and read maybe and maybe we'll com- comment on it a little bit this is a very familiar text. It's St. John chapter 14. This is Jesus speaking. I love this. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. Now let's stop right there. That alone is a huge challenge to the people he's talking to. Do you, mm-hmm. you realize what he just said? Yes. He just said the same way that you believe in God to believe in him him Mm. did you hear that yes and these people are firm believers in god but when he says same way the same way that you believe him it means that you believe in him as god roy says some of the best preachers i know and have known are not perfect but knew what they were talking about there you go that's (laughs) what i'm talking about yeah none of them are perfect none of us none of us are perfect no and uh, that's the, I don't want a perfect preacher. I want somebody who's like really lived well, a life. Especially since there isn't something one. to speak from. Especially <laughs> since there isn't one. But you know, if we could have the perfect, I don't want that because life is messy. Mm-hmm. Life is hard. We're gonna fall. We're gonna cuss. We might smoke. We might. You know what I mean? Well, I won't Whatever. Smoke. No, but I'm saying humanity at large, mm-hmm. and things are gonna go wrong. We're gonna do things wrong. We're not, things are gonna be hard. You want a preacher who has maybe lived some of that hard and can speak to it yeah. even more. I mean, the word speaks for itself, but there's such a conviction when you've lived it. I uh, and of course I won't divulge who, but Julie and I don't. We don't drink at all, Mm-mm. but. There are several 
contemporary <laughs> ministers who will drink wine with their dinner. Mm-hmm. And um, no judgment here. No. Nope. Yeah. As long as it, what I always teach is as long as it's not your answer mm-hmm. and it's not a self-medicating thing, like you get your answers from the word, you get your answers from God, you pray, and it's just a drink like a glass of Kool-Aid, mm-hmm. then you're all right. But when it's your motive, what's your right. motive? Right. So Exactly. Susan writes in again, if you're a Christian and or minister of the gospel that claims to be perfect and don't fall short, then I don't trust Me you. Me either, girl. That's Me right. Me either. <laughs> That's right. And, you know, there are ministers who don't say that verbatim, but act that way. I know. And it's sad. You cannot be bad enough to, to alienate yourself away from the Mm-mm. presence of Jesus. And you cannot be good enough to earn his presence. Come on. Come on. This is all about him. He's made it available that we would be able to know him and to walk in his uh, in, in, in the light of his gospel. That's right. You got another uh, text? No, oh, no okay. more. No baby news no baby yet. News. Um, did we put it on the podcast about the baby news so people know what we're talking about? But we have a granddaughter who's trying to make her way into the world today. Possibly things are progressing. I don't know if they're so far that they're going to stay, but they probably will. We're probably going to have a little baby baby today mm-hmm. makes me want to get in my car and go to michigan really <laughs> yeah oh see that baby we have to get in our car and go to asheville north carolina yes tomorrow. we're actually uh getting a christmas gift well sorta. kind of <laughs> <laughs> a new member of the family <laughs> i sold a, my most expensive guitar so i could buy one that's not quite as expensive but one i've wanted for some time and since i've a, known him we've it'll be 25 years we've been married in march it's a gibson he's ES wanted 3, this guitar 335 do you have a 335 already? no i have what? a 330 that's where i get confused i, I guess there's 330 330 335 355 yeah i mean geez mine you're if you created one it would have to be a gibson es 007 <laughs> To go with your Maybe. hair. <laughs> to go with my hair. <laughs> go with your <Yeah>. hair. <laughs> so, uh, let you not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. I love this. I believe too. also in me. Ditto. The same way that you right now trust in God, he's saying to Jewish people, trust mm-hmm. in me that same way. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go and prepare a place for you, and if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself, that where I am, there you may be also, and whither I go, you know, and the way, you know. Yes. Jesus is talking about his death, burial, and resurrection, and uh, the, uh, the day of Pentecost with the powerful presence of the Holy Spirit, so that that brings us all into all into a dwelling place with uh, set with Jesus. Did you know we're, we set with him, together with him in heavenly places? Yes. There's wonderful things I like to it. know. Yeah. So I was uh, thinking you were reading similar to what I read yesterday, which was Philippians 4, 6. Good. Can you comment on that while I excuse myself? Yes. So Philippians 4, 6 I was teaching on because years and years ago when I was dealing with anxiety, um, just... It was kind of a medically induced situation for me with some medicine, but I still had to deal with anxiety, and it was just horrible. And so I started searching out the scriptures, and let me see. I want to see if I see the New King James Version is is my favorite, besides Amplified. But it says in Philippians 4, 6, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be, be made. Um, known to God. And so I love I love that in uh, the Berean literal Bible, it says, be anxious about nothing but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requ- requests be made known to God. Very close to the same. But what I learned was that Jesus, that's Jesus speaking, and he says, be anxious for nothing. In other words, don't worry about it. I got this. I got you. I'm going to take care of you. And in everything, pray and and let God know what your need is. And I was talking yesterday on the Julie Tussie Show podcast, which will release Monday the uh, 15th, 14th. 
of December 2020, um, that you simply have to let, you just have to take these things that you're concerned about and and ask Jesus about them. He will take care of you. He will take care of you. So you don't have to go around worrying about it. And a lot of times it might could be as simple as you need a Christmas gift for someone and that's really worrying you. Or you need your house payment. Or you need healing in your body. Whatever it is, he is faithful. And then it goes on and says, but after you pray... When you pray, do it with thanksgiving. Present them to God. So once you pray and ask him, you simply, you can rest. And you can say, thank you, Jesus. I know you're going to supply my need. And he always makes Mm -hmm. a way for us. And I love that about him. So be anxious for nothing. So you got your preach on while I had to make a little uh, detour there. That's (laughs) that's nice. So let not your heart be troubled, Jesus said, just like Julie's talking about out of Philippians. Don't let your heart be troubled. Mm -hmm. Um, I love how he goes the, the next step and says, you believe, read it to us, how you believe in God. So you believe in God, believe also in me. So in other words, to me, he's saying you don't have to be troubled because you can. You believe in me. I got you. Right. I got, I got you. Right. Exactly. We, uh, I just and don't know how people live without him and his word. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. So big deal. There's mansions in the father's house. Well, <laughs> right. he's about to make it a big deal. I go and prepare a place for you. Now, translating that, mansion means grand or big dwelling place. Mm. And believe it or not, people, Jesus never said he's preparing a mansion for us in heaven. Okay, here we go. (laughs) What did he say? He said, in his father's house are many mansions, and I go and prepare a place for you. The word place in the Greek means a smaller dwelling place. Really? So I hate to cramp people's style, but. Well, you know what comes to my mind, and you've been studying the Bible since you were a baby. Do you think when he says, I'm going, he's there, right? I'm going to prepare a place for you. And he's talking about not worrying. Do you think it's a place of peace that we can live in right now? Not Mm -hmm. in heaven, but do you think he's talking about that place in the kingdom where we have a different way of living and we can trust him? Yeah. I do too. Trusting him on a daily basis, that's the joy of life. And we've got to train ourselves to trust him. And it's how you don't worry because really you you don't worry. That's the only way really you would let your heart not be troubled is by making your mind full of his character and nature. How do you do that? Where in the world can we find a record of Jesus' character and nature? Where can we find that at? In the Bible. In the Bible. And and that's why, you know, it's not a religious thing to study the Bible. It's a get acquainted with thing. I know. The more you know, the the better. And I encourage you to stay in the New Testament a lot. Mm -hmm. If you don't even read the Old Testament for a year, you have lost nothing. That's right. Uh, The Gospels, you need to rehearse them over and over in your thinking, and even more so than the epistles, uh, the letters to the churches. But... uh, some letters are, one letter was to Timothy, two mm-hmm. letters were to mm-hmm. Timothy, uh, personally. So, uh, isn't that cool? We yeah. have a real insight to even personal writings to uh, to Timothy. I know, and what they say to him, Tell God me. has not given you a spirit of fear, but a power, love, and a sound mind, or a yeah. self-disciplined mind. That's another thing I talked about on the podcast, because those things, and what I love about learning the Word is that it rises up in my in my heart and in my mind when I'm in a time of trouble or when like when I'm sadness does come to me. I lost my father. It's been a few years, but I still miss him. You lost your father. Sometimes we lose loved ones, and the holiday season brings that to the forefront again for you. Could be other things, but when you start to feel this sadness coming on. One of the things that you should be able to do is have a scripture that you have memorized that comes to your heart. You know what I mean? Like, don't be anxious for anything. I have overcome the world. All of the things that could rise up from the word Mm -hmm. to save you. And then there's a bunch of other physical things that you can do Mm -hmm. (laughs) to distract. You know, the biggest thing for me that worked for me when I was in the worst time of my life was to become uh, busy 
like I would go and fold laundry or I would I would occupy that's the word I'm looking for I would occupy myself to get my mind off of that mm-hmm. turn on turn on uh, Christian music turn on a scripture playing somebody reading the Bible or whatever and then occupy myself make cookies for some someone else oh yeah Any, definitely doing be, something be for someone else doing for someone yes else. And it gets your mind off of you and your problems yes it's a great way to rise above what may be what I call the mully grubs. <laughs> the mully grubs. <laughs> Julie's never heard of it. I have. Oh, yeah, yeah have. because I'm third. I'm a little over thirty now. Yeah. I've heard that. But Roy says nothing God has made is bad. We make it a sin. So, yeah. So that's interesting. He's free too. Yeah. So, what's the significance then of the mansion and the place? Well, that's what's interesting is. Our dwelling place is in that mansion. Uh, our dw- our small our smaller dwelling place in the large uh, dwelling place of the heavenly Father. Here's the thing about that dwelling place: it's perfect for you. I love that. Whatever it, it is tailored around you and your mm-hmm. entire life. It is custom made for you but all within the Father's mansion. Mm -hmm. And uh, he said, I go and prepare a place. Again, he said a place. He didn't say a mansion. Uh Uh-huh. Man, I tell you, you we're supposed to be in him. So if he's preparing a place, I believe it's in him. I'm so grieved for people who even write songs about mansion on the hill and all this, that, and the other. I don't even care about that, do you? I don't even care. It, it's greater than anything we can ever imagine, but we've got to break down the truth and let the um, let <laughs> let the truth speak to us. What did Susan say? Susan says, "Yes, Ben, been leaving my worship music going and singing and cleaning. My house is spotless. I'll take a small dwelling place as long as I'm with my heavenly That's Father. What That's about. what it's about. And the thing That's about right. that smaller dwelling place, that place He's preparing for us, that He." Uh, it's tailor made to our. You would not want to live in my place. I would not want to live in your place. Right. There's a place so personal and so uh, suited for you that it is mind blowing. Mine's on the beach. In, ver- in verse three, he said again, "If I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you to myself. That where I am, there you, there yeah. you may be also. And whether I go, you know, and the way you know. But then." Thomas speaks up and says, "Lord, we know not where we don't know where you're going, and uh, how can we know the way?" So here, this is this gets really, really good Come on. because we're talking about going into getting into that dwelling place. So that Jesus now is breaking down the path of doing it. Jesus said unto him, "I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the mansion but by me." Mm. Oh wait! Wait! It doesn't no. say Mm-mm. mansion. Mm-mm. I thought you. I thought Jesus was talking about uh, mansions and a place, but he says, "I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the mansion or the place but by me." That's not no, what he said. No, he did not say that. I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father. The Father, but by me. This is this is all new to these guys. Is it possible the father is the mansion? In the Old Testament, <laughs> Father God is not referred to as Father. Really? No. And uh, he was Jehovah everything, yeah, right? Yeah, he was uh, Jehovah Jireh Jehovah. Yeah, there was always a, understand this in the law. There was always a great gulf between men and uh, and the presence and of Father God. God. Yeah. yeah, which is why it was not complete. Jesus had to complete it. We. The law and the prophets were until John, but now the kingdom of God is preached. We're, and this is the kingdom of God. This is a major element of the kingdom of God, and that is setting in the dwelling place that he has prepared for us in his mansion. Yes. All right? There are many mansions, not just one, but many mansions. And in these many mansions are custom, <laughs> custom-made custom dwelling places for us. <laughs> But that custom-made dwelling place is is uh, the presence of the Father. And let me read that again. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by me. And if you had known me, you should have known the Father also. 
and from henceforth you know him and have seen him. Mm, if you've known me, that. if you if you've known me, then you've known the Father. And from now on, realize when you're looking at me, you're looking at the Father. But Philip took issue with this. Philip said to him, "Lord, show us the Father, and we'll be satisfied." Oh my! That took a lot of guts to say that to Jesus. Well, they're really I'd say. close to Jesus. Yeah, so. so they're like, "How can how can this be?" Yeah, I liken it unto that I'm I'm a woman, I'm a wife, I'm a mother, I'm a, but I'm still all one. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, Lord, Lord, show us the Father, and it suffices us. Now, here's Jesus' response. Let's let him answer that. Have I been so long with you, Philip? Yet thou hast not known me. He that has seen me has seen the Father. Right. And who sayest, and how sayest thou, show us the Father? This is too cool. Let's reverse that a little bit. He did not say, he that sees the Father sees me. Right. He said, he that sees me sees. Jesus is the face of the heart of God. The Father yeah. God is the heart. Jesus is the face. Holy Spirit is the energy. Ooh, that's good. And um, but say that again. But that's all so God. good. Uh, Father God is the heart. Jesus is the, the face of Father God, and the Holy Spirit is the energy of Father God to accomplish His will. Wow, and purpose. thus to be filled with the Holy Spirit. Yeah, wow, that's yeah. good. So I've been so long time with you, and yet thou hast not known me, Philip. He that has seen me has seen the Father. And how sayest thou then, show us the the Father? Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwells in me, he he does the works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me. For uh, else uh, believe, or else believe me for the very work's sake. Mm. Verily, verily, I say, say unto you, he that believes on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. Boy, this is good stuff. Gosh. I can stop at every bit of this. I know. And all of this is from the the, the position of our dwelling place in the heavenly Father's yeah. mansions. Yeah. Thank God. So. Um, Man, greater works. Did he say that? Really? For verily I say unto you, that he that believes on me, the works that I do, shall he do also. And greater works than these shall he do, because I go where? To my Father. Mm-hmm. I thought we. I thought he was going to a mansion. No. Well, that is a type of what we're talking about here, that is he's going to the Father. Yes. And I listen, this is really important. Mary Magdalene was the first one to see Jesus when he rose from the grave. Yes. And when she saw him and realized who it was, she began to lunge at him at his feet and worship him. She was just about to touch him, and he stopped her. Yeah. And this is all, I could flip over there and read it, but I won't for the sake of time. He stopped her from from touching him by saying, uh, don't touch me. I've not yet ascended to, I love this, my father and your father oh, that I love is that. the kingdom yes. of god yes that is the kingdom of god jesus sacrificial uh, action was not over until he ascended to the uh, father the father god mm-hmm. and atoned all things in heaven by his blood all things in heaven that. short of father god had to be atoned for as well as all things in the earth right oh wow that's just good stuff that's awesome <laughs> <laughs> and whosoever shall ask in my name, I will do it, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Ooh. So, presence of the Father, in, indulge in the New Testament, and particularly the Gospels, and realize that uh, Father God was not referred to as Father God in the Old Testament. And, uh, no, he wasn't known as a father, a relationship. He was known as a deity. The, right. That comes with the new covenant. Mm-hmm. We're Abba. We have... Uh, we cry Abba. We cry Abba, Father. The word Abba means daddy. Yeah. And that type of relationship is where the power is in the things of God. So anyway, we're about out of time. So. Well, that's something I've really been focusing on is that relationship of the father, of him being my dad, my daddy, my to realize his love as a father you know we're parents we understand our love for chil- our children and it's uh, you can't even comprehend how much you love your children and he said even so much more 
So I don't know if it's just a woman thing or if it's all of you, all of men and women, but to comprehend or even begin to just chip away at comprehending how much God actually loves us, that he's not out to get us, that he does not bring sickness and harm in horrible things. No, he loves us. Would you do that to your children? No. No. So why do we think he's out to hurt us? You know, it's like a it's like a subconscious mentality, right? Yeah. So if you're feeling down today, you're hit, you feel the blues, you're missing someone at Christmas, you're fighting depression, maybe you're fighting suicidal thoughts. I'm telling you there is a father God that you have a father, you have a daddy that loves you so 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 much and all you have to do is cry out to him. Ask him into your life. Ask him to be your Lord and Savior. Ask him to have his way to touch you, to heal the situation. Just do it. He's there for you, Mm. and he loves you so, so, so much. Steve's weighing in and says that he gives the best gifts. He's awesome. That's exactly right. That's right. right. And he is constantly giving. And as we uh, 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 just bathe ourselves in yes. his presence and his character we become givers yes in, in exactly. the same way because it's his character and his nature that is um, uh, that glorifies himself yes you know, jesus said the works that you do do these good works because they glorify the father which is in heaven exactly don't i think it's almost like being able to realize that you are accepted yep. and acceptance and uh, you're part of you're not the the bad guy out yeah i think out of this maybe we should just say it like this <laughs> father god is not mad at you jesus no. is not mad at you <laughs> and, uh, no uh the only way we are ever going to see the character and nature of Father God is by getting a really good look at Jesus. That's exactly. The only way there is. What a no good other word way. today. Jesus Woo! Himself said that there's yes. no man comes to the Father but by me. So yeah. So Julie, um, Limitless Church, we've got that sign behind us right now. Oops, yes. just changed to uh, <laughs> ways to give. Ways to give. So why don't you talk <laughs> about these things a little bit? All right. Well, first off, we are launching Limitless Church, a virtual church on Facebook and hopefully on YouTube at the same time on January the third, twenty twenty one. We have to say those dates because podcasting is the infinity, and so is television. Just about. So. Uh, at 9 o'clock in the morning on January the 3rd, 2021, we are going to launch, and it, of course, will be able to be replayed, but I think we're just going to share the Word of God and and just encourage your life. So Limitless Church is City Harvest Limitless Church. You can go on Facebook right now, and you can um, follow the page there. You can follow Limitless Church. Yeah. This And actually, it's going to be in a different studio. So that'll yeah. be fresh. Yeah. So it's going to be in our video studio. Uh, and we're going to be doing a multi-cam uh, <laughs> production of it as well so it can be aired later. Yeah, it'll, it'll so. post on YouTube. But tell us what how it's different from what we're doing now. You tell them how it's going to be tell different. Them how, because you tell them. All I know is we're going to the studio. We'll probably do music, uh, a song. We intend to do some live music. If live I, music. If I can ever then... get Julie to rehearse with me. I'm always <laughs> down here playing and... It's tough to get her down. I don't want to interrupt you. Yeah, I, I need to interrupt it yeah. if we're going to do music. I know, in, uh, I know. In January, my idea is let's write a it's new one take, every uh, time we're we turn only going to take about an hour. It won't be rigid. Sometimes over, sometimes less. And we're going to pray with you. We're going to uh, hopefully get prayer requests in all week. That we'll be able to uh, mm-hmm. to pray with you uh, on things that you have brought to our attention. That is a major part of what we do. And then after the music, we're going to have some sort of uh, testimony of some good, awesome thing that happened that week. And then we're also going to just preach and teach the word a little bit, probably more teaching than preaching. So, yeah. So another way that you can connect with us and, and be part of that launch is you can go to YouTube and search Tussie Television and subscribe to the page because we are on a mission to figure out how to get on there through our cameras and not just our computer screen. <laughs> yeah, there's a uh, there's equipment that lets you multi-cam, lets a stream exactly like we are now with multiple cameras called multi-cam. And uh, we're working on that. It's a 
pretty pretty decent investment so we haven't invested yet because we're not we're not sure how it works so uh, so we'll get there but at, at the very least we will launch on facebook live um gary will be on the limitless church page right yeah. and i will be and my phone will be on um my own page because we have such a large following so to let them know what we're doing. So that's for them to set their notifications for Limitless Church if, yes. if they if they haven't already so that when we're posting in Limitless Church because it's all going to be new. <laughs> Don says, so glad to see you guys again. Thank you, Aww, Don. Good to see you on see here you. with us. We've been praying for people. Don, you got anything you need to help praying about or would like some agreement on? Mm-hmm. We'll do that before we close out here. Right now, Julie is telling you how to get in touch with us. We're out. We're reaching out to you. We want you to reach back out to us. Yes, I'm all about connection. One of the hardest things about COVID is not being with people speaking live, but we're doing it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we're doing it. So let me see. One other thing I want to tell you is that right now, um, you can go to TussieOnline.com. You can see our video, some of our videos. You can hear some of our music. You can kind of get a feel for what we're doing. We are a nonprofit 501c3 called The Voice Inc. The Voice Inc. Everything that we do, Limitless Church, all the podcasting, all the music, everything goes through this corporation. So we are asking you to prayerfully consider becoming a partner with us or or sending in an offering to help with this launch to help to get the word out to help reach people we have um i have a a food bank in my heart gary has many things that he wants to do so we're just praying right now and believing god for people that will connect with us now when you connect with us we pray for you you pray for us. You can give one-time offerings. You can give monthly. And that is so simple to set up. You just go to TussieOnline.com, and you can go hit the Donate button. It'll take you to all kinds of opportunities. We also have Venmo, The Voice INC, the Cash App, which is the money symbol, The Voice INC, so you can see the trend here. But also, we want to let you know that we love you so much. We care about you. We care about your family. So we've put together a um, 24-7 line that you can reach us with. And you can reach us. You can just leave a prayer request. And we're not going to answer it directly. It is a voicemail um, system that we have set up. But we will call you back from that number if you need a call back. We will pray with you if you need a call back and prayer together. You can just leave your prayer request if you want Gary and I to come and minister Gary and me to come and minister see I'm on your hair and you're on my my one my one y'all one grammar slip up I'm like the grammar queen except that is like a dyslexic thing in my brain <laughs> so if you want Gary and me to come and minister or you want us to do you know to be part of an adventure doing whatever it is you can reach us on this line 24 24- Seven. That number is 859 Yes, <laughs> write that number down because yeah. that is a prayer link uh, even more than anything. Also, at any time during our live uh, feed, if you'd like to be part of the uh, program, we will patch you in through that telephone uh, number and have a conversation with you right here for all of us to enjoy. <laughs> we would love that. Uh, Dawn is saying that uh, COVID is hitting close to home, so we want to pray for her. Okay. And she said have, she's the health care worker. She's a health care worker. And Dawn, this is what the Lord's prompted me to pray for you, that a hedge of protection yes. be lifted up around you. Thank you, In Lord. Jesus' name and continue to uh, combat the covid uh, that you're surrounded with every, every day, evidently. So in Jesus' name, Don, think about that hedge of protection right there. And, yes. And he's given his angels charge over you to keep you safe, and uh, we have uh, every belief in that. So we love you and believe in you. All right, I'm going to pray if you don't care for everyone. Father, we just pray for everyone that 
under the sound of our voice right now. And Lord, we ask you to keep them safe and healthy and strong. We ask you, Father God, to touch their hearts and their minds to be free of depression, anxiety, worry, uh, the Christmas blues. We just ask you, Father God, to reinforce in their hearts that you are their daddy, you are their father, and you will meet every need. We thank you for every family, Father God, that needs food, that you supply for them, for every family that needs their rent and their bills paid, that you supply for them in a in an awesome way, God, that you move and show yourself faithful and loving and kind. And Lord, we just say that their feet will walk your path in 2021, God. They will have an encounter with you. They will know you personally, and they will live their lives with you so that they have a better life. And we just ask you, God, to pour your blessings out in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, everyone, for being part of our program today. Um, Don responds here, such an awesome confirmation. Had you protected. Thank you so much. I love it. Yeah, that's how the Lord prompted me to pray, so I wanted to say that to you, too. All right, we're out of time for today. You're going to be in our thoughts and prayers all day long, and until we see you again next week. Don't forget to like and share. Like Like and share. share. Like Like and share. share this to your page. Let people know about Limitless Church. Yep. Please Love you guys. That. Love you guys. We'll see you next time. <laughs>
Down. 